Hi everybody, welcome back. San Francisco, we're still here. <laughs> we're still trying to get these low wealth bastards to go and work in Sipsville. Uh, I think we're getting close though, and we won't spend too much more time in San Francisco trying to do this. Uh, once density starts increasing, we should be able to flood the region with, uh, with low wealth bastards anyway. Uh, but failing that, we can always just set up some uh, low wealth residences in Sip City because we've got a lot of room now. We've cleared up some of the pollution from the uh, oil wells too. Uh, I'm just gonna put go into uh, llama speed. Uh, put your sunglasses on and uh, and prepare. It's like it's like when the Enterprise goes like warp nine, I guess. Oh my God, look at this. Look, look at all the traffic. Holy shit. Um, there's been an update apparently as well. There's been an update to traffic uh, that I haven't seen yet. So if we start seeing like tons of big traffic jams and stuff, uh, we might need to do something. A lot of people were wondering why I'm only building uh, on one side of the road. I, I think that was legitimately something to do with the way traffic was when the game was released. And apparently it made uh, traffic less less jammed doing it that way uh we've sort of designed all of san francisco <laughs> san francisco uh on one side of the road so we'll, we'll keep that there's lots of room for all these buildings to expand uh back to the other roads and i i think it's okay i think it looks okay if we need to change it though we can just come in here at the bulldozer wreck everything and uh and change it it should be fine all right let's take a look and see where we're at with low uh wealth uh, residences. I think this area is all medium wealth now, uh, possibly. We'll take a quick look, uh, if I can do that without scrolling. Yeah, it's all medium wealth now. Uh, we could really do with uh, another area of low wealth. So let's try to get rid of... Look, I'm going to get rid of this this whole thing here. <laughs> it's costing 120 bucks an hour. Uh, I mean, we're making 1588 an hour in San Francisco, uh, thanks to taxes. Uh, and having said that as well, actually... We need to make sure that we're uh, able to... Look, I'm just going to lower the taxes uh, for low wealth to look at that 9%. Uh, they're playing the same now as medium wealth. And then, of course, the rich are taxed uh, lower. We tax the rich lower because uh, it makes it so that they don't complain so much. Because rich people hate tax. If tax was a person, rich people would spend all day long uh, making tons of money and then flogging that person uh, or stoning them uh, because that's just how much they hate tax. They, that's all they want to do. They want to flog and stone uh, the personal manifestation of tax uh, if, if that's possible. And I bet you they wish that it was possible, actually. Uh, we, however, are not going to do that. Oh, look at that. For the urban wealthy, a new alternative to sprawling estates, luxury condos. Oh, fantastic. Holy shit. Oh, look, here we go. Look at that. Density has just shot up. We're getting some luxury condos uh, down in this nice area of town, uh, which is very fantastic. I, I don't often say very fantastic, but uh, it's got to be said that is very fantastic. Right. Let's get rid of these sports parks. Uh, man, these people are going to be so pissed, but we, we got to do it. Uh, the following buildings will be bulldozed. Public, te <laughs> public tennis court, uh, which is medium wealth. I'll do it. I, I shouldn't be so enthusiastic about knocking down parks. Well, look at this. We're going to knock all this crap down, too. See you later. And, and see you later here, too. Okay, that's going to have uh, quite the effect on the surrounding area. We'll bulldoze down these stupid houses because they're abandoned. Uh, we'll bulldoze down these stupid businesses because they're all abandoned as well. What's that? Gastro. <laughs> We're making lots of sales. Fantastic. I'm, I'm very happy for you, Gastro. Um, okay, let's see... Uh, where we're at then uh, with uh, land value around here. Great. Okay, look. Now all we got to do is make some crappy parks for these people uh, to make them happy. Barbecue pavilion, possibly. Uh, I don't really want these people having that much fun down here. Small field, I think, will probably do the trick. Uh, or maybe, is this a... Oh, small medium field with parking. Oh, this might even... This might be even better. Look at this. We'll knock down a couple of these medium wealth. Uh, or do we want it like up here? Hmm. These people have already sort of increased the density. Uh, so maybe down here will be better. Let's get it down here. Make all of these chumps happy. Oh, look at that. Instantly, everybody's like, oh my god. A medium field with parking? You've got to be kidding me. Everybody, this is just like a hotbed now down here. Everybody wants to move into this area. Uh, looks like uh, we're missing out on some action too. Look, there's a fire at what? Where is this? 
The Alvarez household. Oh, luckily, we were able to scramble the firefighters quick enough. Uh, I wonder if anyone's actually using this yet. Yeah, there's three kids in this park. Uh, five kids, oh my god. Uh, they're probably all hiding behind trees like smoke and crack, because that's what kids do. The minute they get into a park, you can't stop these kids. That's all they want to do. They just want to drug themselves up like there's no tomorrow and hang out in a park. Oh my god, this this is just like a hotbed for... Oh no, there's a, a whole bunch of adults turning up now to stop their kids from doing the drugs in the park. Good. Good. We've got responsible adults in San Francisco. We couldn't ask for better. Okay, we'll let that take. Uh, let's see, why are these people so upset up here? What is this? The Duringer efficiencies. Uh, they're unhappy because they have no money and they're gonna have to move out soon. Also, uh, they need more shops. Oh god. Really? I think maybe we need a sports park up around here. Uh, apparently that substitutes for a shop. What's a- <laughs> look at this. Look at this little trailer, like, right in front of City Hall. That's fantastic. God, these people are really sticking it to the man. Look, they can just sit in their trailer, they can drink lemonade, and they can laugh at all these protesters across the street. What a bunch of bastards. Uh, we can't obviously be having that, uh, in this city. We're gonna have to, uh, unfortunately, um, replace their um their trailer with a basketball court uh, which we're going to place right here there we go now these people can't complain about shopping uh because they can come here and they can spend all their money on the basketball court because that's apparently how this game works uh if they have no place to spend their money and shop uh they'll be happy enough just actually turning up to a sports park uh so that's fine we now have a basketball court across from uh, City Hall in San Francisco, uh, which is great. Population, not doing too bad. Look at that, 8,185 people uh, and, and growing. The density is increasing. Oh, look at this. Look at these flashy, look at that, 12 lofts. Oh, wow. Oh, that, that is, those are fantastic. Holy shit. You imagine living in here? Man, that'd be great. With a, like this beautiful view of this medium sculpture garden and this nice long walkway leading to the library. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Holy shit, there's a lot of people going to the library, too. That's nuts. Uh, so, 1867 bucks an hour, which just went up to just over 2000 uh, I think we can almost get a university in this in this town. Uh, and that would be great, I think. Having a university and we can start working towards uh, our great works. And I think... I think the results are in for the Great Works. I think we're gonna go for a space shuttle. Uh, everybody's saying that like every other playthrough on YouTube builds the Arcology. We don't want to be the same as all the other playthroughs. We want to be different. We want to make a spaceship. We can just herd all of these bastards into the spaceship and just launch uh, it into outer space and then start again from scratch. We'll have all these empty buildings that we can populate with better people. Oh man, it's gonna be fantastic. I think that's gotta be the end goal uh, for this region. And uh, man, uh, well, I, I gotta be honest. I just wanna see the, the spaceship blast off. I think that would be spectacular. Uh, so that's what we're gonna go for. And uh, I think we need to actually unlock that through the, uh, through the university. So let's do it. We can totally afford it. Look, university, 88,000 to, to place down, no problem. And uh, 1,600 bucks an hour uh, to, to maintain, which, well, we can, wow, we can totally afford that now because we continue to make money. We'll set aside a nice area over here for the university so that it can sprawl into uh, its full magnificent glory. I think that's uh, also a good idea. We'll get this high density street. Let's like make it here. There we go. We don't need to fill up this entire area with... Oh, God. Is that straight? I can't even tell. I'm going to have to, like, zoom around here. We'll fill up... Uh, uh, yeah, that's... Okay, that's, like, straight enough. There's, like, a little bit of an incline there. Okay, great. We'll get... We'll make this, like, huge area here, like, the campus area. So we'll have, like, the university, and then we can have, like, other buildings and, like, parks and paths and all sorts of crap leading to it. Uh, and then uh, down here... We can sort of cut it off and we can make some, uh, we can have like another sort of like literal Beverly Hills down here, possibly. Um, which reminds me actually, we need to work on this other Beverly Hills too, because it's, uh, it's in a bit of a state right now. I mean, look at the state of that Beverly Hills, little Beverly Hills. There's not even one single rich person living there, and I think it's because they don't have the uh, room to expand into their, into their rich person's digs. We might need to just like expand these out a bit, like, like this, possibly. Is that... Has that helped you guys at all?
Oh yeah, look. Finally, my god. It's just, it was so easy. Look at that. We're doing it. We've got a mansion in Little Beverly Hills. Ah, <laughs> oh, great. I'm so happy. Okay, let's put this university down before I start getting like carried away and, uh, and losing my concentration. Uh, I think we can have the main building like here in, in the center here. I think that's okay and then if we need anything else on the sides and stuff we could build it or should we build it like way down at the end here i i think this i think you get a lot of traffic to the university so maybe having it down at the end would be good in case there's like big long snaking queues of traffic you never know I, i'm gonna do it there we go bam we have a university san francisco it's like the ultimate uh University town now. God, you think all these people are gonna be like living like total bohemians, going to university, being like all hip as hell, and just like they're gonna like spray graffiti on the side of like furs for tots and uh, gallery Fontainebleau, uh, because that's that's the kind of stuff that you do when you go to university. You have to totally stick it to the man. And look at that! Look at all the traffic coming to the university already. Holy shit! It's closed. It's hiring, uh, which is fine. We can uh, we can click on it. Look, we can start a research project. Uh, we won't be able to start one uh, just yet. We need to like actually educate people first. Uh, but look at this. We can make like a concentrated solar array. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, we could also make the uh, solar farm great work, uh, which is uh, pretty fantastic looking. Actually, look at that. That looks really cool. Uh, we can also work on the vertical turbine. This is like the uh, the, the, the better turbine for the wind farm. And uh, a Gen 2 thermal reactor. Holy shit. Grants approval for the Gen 2 thermal reactor module for the nuclear power plant. Oh my god. Can you imagine? Uh, fast neutron reactor. Jesus. A clean coal generator. That might be good. A clean oil generator. Mmm. Look at that. For the oil power plant. We could upgrade Huge Bastard uh, with, uh, with, some, with some clean oil uh, power plant generation, that'd be great. Surgical center. We need a school of medicine for that, uh, for the surgical center. That's a bolt-on for the hospital. Kind of cool. Detective wing. <laughs> Holy shit, look at all this stuff. This is awesome. Space center, great work. That's what we're going to be gunning for. Look at that. Grants approval for the space center, great work, for the region to build. Uh, it costs 200000 and uh, we need a school of engineering. So that's the first thing that we're going to do uh, once this is actually up and running. Uh, we have no teachers here. Uh, we have capacity for 800 students though, and you'll see here, look at that, we can accept uh, regional students as well, which is very good. Uh, let's just go in here and edit this and see. Oh yeah, we need to place the sign for sure. Let's have the sign like in the middle here. There we go. Don't, I'll, I'll edit like some cool mu uh, school music in for that moment, because I, I think that's a fantastic moment right there finally place a sign at your first university. The grounds kind of look a bit shitty though. Look at like these crampy dirt roads and stuff. Like, look at all, like, the parking lot's a bit bad. Uh, somebody, everybody's parked their car one way except for this clown in the middle here who's decided to back in. It's easier to get out of the parking space though, so I, I kind of see why I did that. Uh, School of Engineering, we need... Uh, Wow, this capacity for 500 people. Look, that looks pretty cool, too. Uh, we get local access granted for the hazmat garage and large fire station as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, all we need to do is have more university students attend class per day to reach your next uh, upgrade threshold. Uh, and I believe that uh, that's 1,000 students in class uh, is when we can do that. So, fine. We'll, uh, we'll aim for that as well. That's kind of cool, actually. It's nice to have a university. And, uh, oh... There's a worker shortage, apparently. Look at this guy. Holy shit. I think we need Paint Sniffer to replace this guy as the uh, education minister. Because I don't really like this guy's red hair and uh, beard combo. I think that's kind of disgusting, actually. And, uh, oh, look at this. Guide me. Guide me, mister. Specialize in education. Give it the old college try. Oh, get out of here. We're, we'll replace you eventually with Paint Sniffer Guy, I think. He's, he'll make a way better uh, education minister. Uh, we have no power here, apparently. Do we have power? What, what are they talking about here? Uh, Mayor Sips, I know you probably have your hands full of requests now that you have a university. Uh, can you put some time and research into a solar farm great work? Creating a solar farm uh, would be a big job, but it would provide the whole region with pollution-free power. What do you think? I don't want to make that. 
Okay. Guy from uh, Left 4 Dead. <laughs> it looks like the guy from Left 4 Dead too. You know which guy I'm talking about? Uh, his hair is like a bit more uh, red, but it, it does definitely look like the guy. Uh, no thanks. We don't want that one. We want to build a spaceship, you son of a bitch. Uh, nice try though. He's just trying to get the uh, he's trying to get the old wool over my eyes and blind me with promises of pollution-free power. I don't think so, buddy. All right, we got to check these people out now and see what's going on with the density. Oh, look at these people are ready. They're ready to rock and roll. Look at all these green. Uh, well, not these people not so much though. We want a park around. There's one like right here. Oh, I think it's cuz these people are Is that the Tupac house? Oh no, it's the the Tunac household. Fuck, I thought that that was for a second I thought that was the Tupac household and I was about to actually just shit my pants. Uh we got the Moskowitzes here as well. These people are medium wealth and they have no place in our working class neighborhood. Uh, so I've just knocked them all down. Uh, I think that's fine. Uh, what are these people? Okay, they're low wealth. Good. Are these people medium wealth too? Okay, yeah. Some of these people are medium wealth. We're going to have to sort that out so that they turn into low wealth and then they upgrade. Oh, look, there's a lot. Jesus. We got like the Winslow household and the the one from Three is Company. And, oh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to knock down a lot of these actually, a lot of these middle uh, class houses. Get out of here, you bastards! There's another there's other parts of town that you could be living in. We don't need you here. And actually, uh, we want to build some more houses there too. Okay, great. This is gonna be the best working class neighborhood ever. And look at that. We've already got like a, a big apartment building. Well, it's not huge, but it's big enough. Uh, full of low wealth. So we may be on our way to actually uh, fulfill some of those jobs, uh, those open jobs in Sipsville, including the water treatment plant. God damn it. We need to get all over that. All right. All these people are moving in. I think we could probably actually fill this up with uh, resident as well and uh, possibly there too or is that full okay yeah there's just nobody moving into it okay let's see how are we doing for demand we have uh, lots of regional demand for low wealth and we actually have a lot of local demand well I say a lot there's quite a bit of local demand uh, for low wealth so we can start trying to uh, to fulfill that we have quite a bit of local uh, demand for these super rich bastards too holy crap that's fine though uh, I mean we've got a couple of Fantastic luxury apartments uh, built. Look at that, Pierre. Pierre is just such a luxury name, isn't it? You always associate the name Pierre with rich people. I think every rich person should be either named Pierre or have a middle name of Pierre. And if not, you need to deed pull that shit like straight away, basically. You need to get onto deed pull and you need to have the name Pierre added to your name somewhere, like double double barrel maybe your last name is like smith just change it to like smith pierre and then people will take you seriously as a rich person until then though i think you'll just be like the the clown of the uh of the rich society especially when you go to like a function or whatever and you don't have the name pierre in your name you're basically fucked so uh i mean you can have that one for free that's that that's some good advice right there Okay, this is the neighborhood that we're really hoping is going to um, increase in density fairly soon. Oh, look. Okay, these people are moved in. Oh, look at this. Holy crap. Six happiness. Oh, look. You can see these little, like, they're, they're like little... Uh, look, they're, like they're they're slowly erecting <laughs> in front of our eyes. It's, it's, it's kind of cool, actually. I've never actually seen this stuff. Oh, except for this one. What, what's wrong with these people? What happened here? Oh, Hamilton household. I missed one. They're, it's because they're not... Okay, we're going to have to... See you later, Hamiltons. Get out of here. We, we, want, we want working class people here, not middle class Hamiltons. Uh, these people are like on the cusp now of upgrading, uh, which is very good. And I think once we get a couple of apartment buildings down here, we could probably actually upgrade these roads. Just make this all like uh, high density. There we go. We're going to do it. We're going to do it so that these people build uh, massive shitty skyscrapers uh, full of low wealth people. I think that'll be great. Uh, so it's imminent now. These people are going to upgrade. What are these? Oh, look at this. This is a big, oh God, this is a huge one. We've got to knock this down. Get out of here. Wait, we need to get rid of this. And oh, also I think this one and this one too. Is that morning sun? Uh, that looks low wealth. It might not be. Okay, yeah, these are all low. Okay, great. These are all low wealth. 
Fantastic. Uh, so, now there's lots of room for great big shitty low wealth high rises, uh, which is great. Uh, we can like move uh, like Avon Barksdale and his crew into one of them and they can like control the, uh, the, dr the drug trade for this neighborhood. I think uh, a lot of people will be very happy about that, especially the uh, 31 kids that are probably nestled somewhere uh, in this park uh, doing um, lots of class A's. God damn it. I, I'm not sure I'm not sure I approve of that. There's 187 concerned parents in here trying to stop them from doing it as well. Uh, so that's that's probably a good thing. Looks like we've got some low wealth apartments coming up here already, which is good. This whole area, I guess uh, the, the happiness around here is is just so incredibly high that uh, these people have decided they'll d move directly into apartments, which is good. Whoa, look at this place. Holy shit. Big box. Shop purgatory. <laughs> that's fantastic. Look at that. I've never seen this model before, actually. I'm sure it's, like, very common, but I just never noticed it before. And, uh, actually, it looks pretty good. How's the, uh, university doing over here? Oh, great! Look at that! We got 423 students in class, uh, today, which is really good. Uh, none of them are regional, uh, apparently, and, uh, and none of them are, are city students as well. I think we have to actually check between the hours of 6 and 9, uh, to see which numbers these are. But that's fine. Petition to build the mayor's house approved. Oh, wow. What a surprise. I was not ready for that. Look at our population. It just, like, skyrocketed up to over 10,000. That's very good. All right. Let's do it. Let's build the mayor's house uh, down here somewhere in this, like, super fancy neighborhood. Uh, we might have to take out some of these bastards, uh, but we'll have it, like, right on the corner here. Look at this. Oh, that's, that's going to be fantastic. Look, all these people are just going to be, like, so happy that I've decided to, to grace them with my presence. Oh look, yeah, see, look at this, the happiness aura. It's just like a like a tide of happiness has just emanated from this one house, uh, which is closed and now hiring. But just the thought of it. Oh, what's this? It's a road. Our city's pretty big now. If we had a ferry terminal, we could bring tourists in over the water, which would be great for business. I'll do it. <laughs> Why not? We need to bring 200 passengers in by the ferry, uh, we've got this little area of water here that we can play with. Oh, look at this! My god, we've got three mansions up here now. Jesus. Eta, beta, p? Or, or pi? Oh, are these... Oh, no, they're not. Oh, these are crap. These are these these are these big university mansions. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> Eta, beta, pi. I, I can't believe I said p. I'm so stupid. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, okay, great. They're worried about pollution. I don't know why they're worried about pollution. Uh, let's just take a look. Uh, there's probably just a ton of air pollution wafting into the city from Sip City. Um, I, I keep forgetting to check that, actually. Let's see. Air pollution. Oh, yeah, look at that. There is a ton of air pollution getting wafted down. In that That is a real goddamn shame. Look at it. It's all coming down from the mountains, too. Crap. Okay, we're going to have to figure out uh, some way of, of stopping that. Ground pollution, though, we should be okay for... Uh, there's a little bit of ground pollution uh, because of this abandoned building, I guess. God damn it. Knock that fuck it down. There we go. Oh, look at all these abandoned buildings, too. Jesus Christ. We're going to have to get rid of all of these. There we go. Okay, perfect. Uh, great. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Let's check our region view and see how we're doing then for... Um, these uh, low wealth residents. We want to check uh, workers. There we go. Lots of workers heading over to Sipsville, which is fine. Uh, low wealth workers map. Great. Uh, we now have 1,333 total low wealth jobs, and uh, we have just almost just as many total low wealth workers. So there's 303 open low wealth jobs still in uh, in Sip City. Uh, but there's no open low-wealth jobs now in San Francisco, uh, which is great. That means any excess low-wealth workers that we have will need to fulfill jobs in Sip City and also in Sipsville. And that's exactly what we want. Great. We're on the trail. We're on the trail of this. And look at the density is, like, really improving in this city, too. Look, it's, like, right before our very eyes, it's becoming a lot bigger. Uh, which is really, really good, actually. Uh, we're probably going to head over to Sip City uh, before long, because we can probably build some more low-wealth uh, workers there, fiddle around with the taxes, and try to get uh, some some more low-wealth uh, workers, and maybe get rid of some of those homeless people, because there's a ton of homeless people in Sip City. Uh, that's probably a fairly good idea. Let's go do that right now, and then we can we can wrap up over there. Uh, so here we go. We're going to go into Sip City and, uh, and see what's going on. Man, I can't believe it. That's like almost two full 
episodes spent in San Francisco. Um, but I mean, come on, it's a pretty big place. Uh, you know, while we're over there, we might as well just like build it up a bit more and, and get some more stuff on the go. Oh my god. You forget how like magnificent Sip City actually is. Look at this. We have like the equivalent of like Central Park here now, uh, even though there's just like a ton of shit uh, hidden underneath all these trees. That's okay though. All these trees are doing a great job sucking it all up. It's really good. Okay. Uh, let's go into, uh, Llama Speed, and, uh, let's see where we're at. Taxes. 11%. Uh, I think 11% taxes on these, uh, on these low wealths is what's going to be causing a lot of them to lose money, uh, and become homeless. So, uh, we're going to take a bit of a hit per hour, but that's okay. We've still got a lot of money in the coffers. Also, we're making a lot of money by the stuff that we're, uh, manufacturing and exporting. So let's do it. We're going to drop this down. Look at that. Holy shit. That was like two grand an hour just by bringing the uh, tax down to 10%. Uh, that should help, though. I think they'll be a little bit happier and will entice uh, more low wealth uh, to the city. Because, look, we've got like these vast areas of low wealth. Uh, we shouldn't have too many more low wealth jobs open in the city. Although, uh, the region map did say we had about 300 or so. Um, geez. I don't want to get rid of the... Uh, industry just yet, even though a lot of them are going to be working at these places, because it'll affect this. Uh, one thing a lot of people were saying, though, is that uh, health coverage in Sip City is probably adequate now uh, with the hospital, which is only treating four patients. Uh, we can probably close down this clinic, which is costing us 1400 an hour. It's only treating nine patients. Uh, three ambulances as well. Let's close it down. We'll, we'll close it down. Take back some of that money that we uh, that we lost on the hit, the tax hit, and uh, and that should sort of balance things out uh, a little bit better. And it means now that the hospital will be used a little bit more than uh, than it was before, uh, which is good too. My God, we've been in the city for like two seconds, and already like half of the trees have been killed uh, by all this goddamn ground pollution. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Let's just take a look and see how this is doing. Oh my god, we've almost gotten rid of like all of it. Even this. I mean, no, I mean it's still big, but it's it it is getting there. We're going to have to put some more trees down though cuz look, this is just like no man's land in here. Holy shit. Uh all right, nature, well, let's go. We're going to plant just a ton of forests and get rid of the rest of this ground pollution. Uh, we're going to have to think about air pollution too, uh, especially because a lot of the air pollution that's being generated in this city is wafting down into San Francisco and making all the university students very unhappy. They're trying to live it up in their big uh, fraternity mansions, and they can't because there's just a ton of smog wafting into their stupid city at all times, and it's all our fault. Uh, but don't worry, we'll, we'll sort it out. Okay, let's take a look at the land value map and see... Oh uh, my god, this... It's like almost completely uh, medium wealth. Okay, well, we can get rid of some of this stuff anyway. Uh, do we have like parks and stuff here? There's a clinic. Uh, there's a basketball court. There's also a medium skate park full of undesirables. What the hell? Oh, I guess undesirables are uh, homeless people. Which is uh, <laughs> probably not a great way to describe a homeless person. But there we go. Uh, okay, we're going to have to tear down this uh, skate park and uh, maybe some of this. Well, let's tear all this crap down, actually. Okay, we're going to do it. Convert uh, this entire area into low wealth. There we go. To tall tree row. Enthusiastically yelling, I'll do it while, um, while wrecking parks in the city. Uh, also, this basketball... Oh, look at that. Straight away. Bleah. <laughs> okay, uh, skate park can also go. See you later. And uh, what's it? Okay, clinic. Clinic has been shut down. Let's get rid of it. Fine. And let's also get rid of this basketball court. I I'll do it. Uh, we've got the library and the school, uh, which are still influencing the... Uh, the, the richness of the area, uh, but not not by much, so that's fine. We, sh we could probably actually fit a couple of more massive apartment buildings in this area uh, where we just tore all that shit down, so let's just quickly do that, uh, and then we can wrap up there, uh, and we come back next time and, uh, and carry on. Okay, we don't want anything on the avenue, though. That's the only thing, so we've got to be careful that we're only building along this road and not on the avenue. Uh, we could probably build uh, some more houses here and maybe just down here. Although, I don't think this city hall is going to be needing anything else except for the stuff that stacks on top of these, like, funny sort of L-shaped things. So that's fine. Okay, great. Uh, 
Okay, we're buying 100 kilogallons of water an hour from San Francisco, and that's meeting demand as well. Look at that. That's, that's been totally sorted out. Okay, great. So, uh, once uh, some of these buildings build up, we should get um, a little bit more money per hour uh, to help things along. Uh, we've lost a little bit of money, uh, but that's okay. We'll, we'll recoup it back uh, as we sort of balance the budgets and stuff uh, in between this city and Sipsville. Uh, we're going to be able to move the garbage dump. We're going to be able to move Big Bastard out of here as well. All this polluting shit can go. Uh, is there actually anything in here? Oh, it's just freight. Okay, it's just freight from uh, the local industry, and there's like three local industries left in Sip City. Once uh, once we get rid of all the polluting stuff in Sip City, though, we can build a lot of tourist attractions and just make like even more money. Uh, we can gift like alloy and stuff over from Sipsville to uh, to here, to, to our trade depots, so that we can continue manufacturing processors here and make uh, even more money. And then we could probably specialize in electronics. A lot of people wanted to see that so that we can make TV and then we're gonna launch all of our people into space uh, and it's gonna be fantastic. Uh, I think we'll probably leave there for now though. Uh, Sip City seems okay. I know we're losing a lot of money per hour, but we're making a lot of money off the stuff that we're manufacturing and selling, which isn't reflected uh, in this budget panel uh, for some reason. Uh, so there we go. We're still still doing okay, and we still have a lot of money. And uh, once Sipsville and San Francisco are, are like fully up and running and making a, a shit ton of money as well, uh, we should be fine. Okay, uh, as usual, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.